The father of abducted Dapchi schoolgirl Leah Sharibu has reacted to the news making the rounds that his daughter has given birth to a baby and has been married off to a commander of the Boko Haram terrorist group. Nathan Sharibu said he would rather not make any comment on the issue. He added that his primary concern is to see his daughter return alive and will therefore not give any credence to any rumors. News that she had given birth as well as her alleged marriage to a Boko Haram commander started making the rounds after journalist Hamed Sakilda, who is believed to have access to the insurgents, announced in a tweet that the abducted schoolgirl is now a mother. The tweet reads, Why, I wonder, do we pretend that leaving Leah behind will result in pregnancy? Since the terror group announced condemning her to slavery, is there any step or collective focus on preventing similar occurrences? She's a mother, but I don't know about the gender of the baby. Leah had been abducted from a school, science secondary school, Dapchi, Yobe State, on February 19, 2018, along with over 100 other schoolgirls. Now to discuss this issue with me, I still have in the studio with me, M.M. Nwogugu and Ambassador Roy Ohidebe. Thank you for staying with us still on News on the Hour. Thank you very Thank much. You. Over two years now, let, let's bother on the security issue of Leah Sharibu. It's over two years now that she's been abducted. What wasn't done or what should have been done? Well, that's a big question yes. because um, one of the weapons that terrorists have is propaganda. One of them, too, is to create maximum impact on pain. You know, and taking Leah and this angle of she not giving in to Islam, being a Christian, is actually most of the enjoy, enjoyed factors that they want to portray because they would like to see Christians and Muslims fighting over um, relevance, you know. But I think um, the, the security agencies that negotiated the release, that negotiating team, should have focused on the balance of the Nigerian system. The balance of the Nigerian system is actually to say, give me the Muslims and the Christians. You know, that should have been the focus. So since they didn't score that point, then that means the terrorists wanted to use that. Then to actually um, remove such victims from where the terrorists are. In all the campaigns that we have been having with military and international bodies, if you could not get it with local content, I think with collaboration, we could have gotten it. Yeah. If one of the directions would be to remove what is their major weapon for propaganda, remove Leah from their hold, and you will see that you gain a lot of propaganda against them. The war is not only on the ground fighting troops. The war is not only on throwing bombs. The war is also on the mind. So one of the factors that they are gaining an upper hand is keeping layer. And I think that every government that comes into Nigeria, this government should work towards collaboration with factors that could bring her out safely. She was adopted alongside other schoolgirls. And so why her in particular? And I, I do remember clearly the federal government said when this was an issue that they were going, they were negotiating the release of Leah. What went wrong? The, the, the information we have yes. is that um, she refused to convert to Islam. That is the information in the general yeah. space. Now, what went wrong was the target of the negotiation. If the target of the negotiation then was to release all the girls, which we exchange with some um, Boko Haram commanders that were captured, then we would have given you more commanders to release all the girls. Because a half-scored point is not a point at all. You know, so you need to score a point by getting all of them out. So the negotiation was, was faulty. And um, the continued um, lack of opportunities to extract her is also faulty. Yes. Yeah. Now let me come to you, MM. Um, mm. The journalist Hamid came out to say she's pregnant. It's, it's a tweet. It's, it's rumored. It's two years after. That there's a thing known as talk, Stockholm syndrome. Syndrome, yes. You know, so that could have happened. happened yes. All this because it's it's a, it's a space of two years. It's adapted. Yes. Copy mechanism already understands the system. You know, she's been there for a while, so she's just going to be coping, traumatic at the same time, afraid, anxiety. So we're not very sure. We're, we've not seen the baby. We've not seen her pregnant. Just like what he said, that they spread propaganda. So we're just going to be hopeful that the government is going to find a suitable, safe way to get her out. I, I sense um, still the part of the culture of shame coming from my father. 
Yes. You know, as much as then, you know, he doesn't exactly. want he doesn't want to believe in the rumor. Yeah. But again, you know, like yes, his concern is having his daughter back to him. What, what do you think? Can you can you can you go in his mind and actually tell what exactly he's feeling like, right like, now? Like every normal parent would be ashamed. Every normal parent would be in so much pain, so much pain. You know, very traumatic for them. I'm not sure they sleep well every night because no no parent will know that their child is missing for two years and will be comfortable. And, and I'm not very sure the dad will want to accept the baby, <laughs> you know. No, no, no normal parent will want that kind of child. All right. Yeah. Thank you very so, much, um, Life Coach M.M. Wogogo for thank joining you. us on News on the Hour thank and you. also Ambassador Roy Okideve, security expert. Thank you very much, Sam, for your in-depth contribution on the show. Thank you very much.